Today, I'll show you the best intake valve cleaner for carbon buildup on a GDI or direct injection engine. I mean, look at these carbon deposits on the valves before and after. You're not gonna believe it. So what do you think we used? Sea foam spray, liquid molly valve clean, or CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner? Well, as you can see, we do have an oil catch can, and alone, that's just not enough, even though it does help out a great bit. Well, we'll start off by using brake parts cleaner. Super tech. I mean, this stuff's only a couple bucks. So if this stuff will work, then we're on the right path for sure. We'll go ahead and remove the air filter and box. This way we can spray the cleaner. These are definitely shocking results. Don't miss out on what's coming up next. Now we'll go ahead and start the vehicle up. This way we can allow it to reach operating temperatures before we start spraying our chemical. Then we'll go ahead, raise the throttle up to about 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs. By using our seat, you can do this with electronic throttle or a mechanical throttle. Now that we're set, we'll go ahead and begin spraying in short bursts. This way, you don't kill the engine out. Do we see any smoke? Not quite yet, but this isn't one of those seafoam videos all about smoking. Please don't allow your hands in between moving parts or the hot exhaust because you'll definitely get hurt. Do this at your own risk. Now we'll go ahead and remove the piece of pipe between our seat to drop the idle back down to normal. And we'll turn off the engine, allow it to heat soak for two hours, then go for a highway drive 10 to 15 minutes, similar to the CRC instructions. As we try with many valve cleaners, this way we can compare the results evenly. Make sure you check out those videos like Liquid Molly Valve Clean or CRC versus Seafoam Spray. Now we'll go ahead, place everything back together, then we'll use our borescope camera, go back in, take a look at the intake valves. Well, what do you guys think? Did it actually work? As you can see, there has been some carbon buildup reduction for sure. Check out these before and afters. Really amazing, wouldn't you say? Well, guys, what would you like to see in our upcoming video? Just make sure you drop a comment below and let us know. Wow, guys, just incredible. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.